Hey everyone, Shannon here, and this episode is going to be hilarious. Like, right now I'm already two minutes into the quest, trying to find whatever I'm going to fight. Lots of stuff has been happening. I've been having a hard time making these epi last episodes, because I, I'm entering college now, so trust me, I'm a soon-to-be computer engineer. And when I do have time, there's always someone sleeping in my house. Like... This episode I recorded two minutes, then my mother decided to go to bed and sleep. Just randomly. So I had to stop and then I remembered, wait, it's only two minutes and I haven't even fought anything. I could very well pick up from them and that's what I did. Now, since I already found this guy here, I'll show you the gear later, where it's, uh, as you can see, Bearoth, Bearer Farmer and, uh, tell me I'm not dying right here. They're of armor with a Royal Ludroth gun lance. Bogan. Bogan. Not gun lance. I always get those mixed up. And as you can see, this is a Steel Uragan, a new subspecies, which we are fighting now for the first time. It, it is weak to water. We'll also be fighting a couple of great froggies and uh, wraithfellows. Now I'm going to use the water rest on this guy and try to use pellets on the other guys. As for my cats, they're fainted now and that one has a weird icon, which I have absolutely no idea what it is. Either way, it's been hard trying to keep up with the episodes. Actually, it hasn't been hard because I haven't been able to keep up with the episodes. I'll see if I can put some more episodes, but soon I'll be starting school, and I'm not sure if I'm going to have so much time. I have no idea how I managed to dodge, I always get hit by those things. Oh, here he comes. I knew it, I always get hit by those things, I'm so bad at dodging, I'm so bad at dodging the organs. I guess I have more experience finding this guy so much in Monster Hunter 3 and stuff. But he always gets me. It's incredible. This guy's really annoying since I don't have my cats to distract him. Here's one. Random stagger. And this guy seems to have the Deodorant effect, and I don't think I brought. I don't didn't bring any cleanser, and there I go again. Like right in the other episode, there was a small comment about how I mix up deodorants and cleansers, mainly due to the the stinkiness states effect. Anyway, it's cleansers. I, I called it deodorant because that's what was used on Monster of Freedom Unite, and it was the same status effect. On the cleanser also works on mud and snow effects. All this fight's being very still. Only been hit once so far. That was close. Oh wait, I'm, I'm right underneath him. How did that not hit me? Hey, I'll just be walking away. Okay. I should stick with that. Oh, I forgot to bring my pickaxes by stuff. That's actually I should have brought them because I do have inventory room. Um, due to the what they call it, the quest pouch, which is really great since you can actually farm stuff even if you already have your what? Okay, he left. If even if you already have everything full of items. Now this is an epic hunting quest, which is why I'm already going to pop all the mega potions. Now let's see. I brought refills for water S and for normal level 2 bullets after I run out of 99. So I don't think renewables will be a problem. Although I'm always concerned in these kind of quests, because there's so many monsters. You never know when, when enough bullets are enough. Hopefully I want to finish this guy with nothing but the water S's. So I'm not sure. This one's actually the first attempt I did. 
Last time I tried to end one of these quests, it took me five or six attempts. Oh, I just remember because I don't have a pickaxe, I can't mine from him. When he falls to the side, you can actually mine materials off of him. And I don't, I'm not sure if I should be on the low level qu bearer. No, not bearer. What's this guy called again? What's this guy called again? Urgen. Urgen quest. Eh. Uh, must run away from the rock. Okay. Finally, a cat. Come on. Fill there. Ooh. Okay. It <laughs> oh, that's always funny. <laughs> like whenever I see that, I, I can help with remembering most of the the night. You know the the farm in here. We have we send the cats down the mining shaft to mine with pickaxes. In Monster of Freedom Night you would just you would pick one cat and he would walk into the mine using bombs so you would have like a tiny cat walking with a large barrel bomb into the mine and then getting blown out of it. And looks like I'm actually gonna actually be able to defeat this guy using the Oh I wanna catch one right. I think I'm gonna use the pitfalls. The pitfall already. Don't hit me. Now where are the here they are, Trancas. Okay, one down. That took me seven minutes of quest. Considering the first two were just chasing around after this guy. Now I'll have to chase wait until the great froggies appear. Oh, let me show you the set and stuff. Bear full set, and this gives me hunger just because I just so I don't have negative hunger. Also gives me ne almost negative sense, just the talisman. Adrenaline plus two, which I don't intend to use. Uh, recall reduction plus two, normal S rapid bow up. As for the weapon itself, quite good. And also defense up medium, feline throw, feline combine, feline grooming. I usually go for feline for feline attack up medium, but I had to go for defense up just because I wanted the combine, which is basically saving having to bring a couple more book of combos when I want to combine stuff. Also brought herbal medicine instead of antidotes. There's the same thing only it heals as well. I'm actually quite surprised I have a lot of waters saved up. I'm gonna use those against the um, the rifle. So right now let me refill on pellets. Level two. Not gonna take the stake yet. My cold drink will run out in a couple of minutes. And other than that, let's go find the froggies. I should go downwards. <laughs> Told you. Right, I'm gonna just leave this hot, hot place so I don't have to take another cold drink. Let's save some of them. Knew it. Six. Nope. Now this it's actually really gonna be quite boring, I think. Just to just get hit by that. Uh guess today's mission is just attacking and dodging, attacking and dodging, attacking and dodging. Of course, it will get a lot worse when I go after the rifles. No, I have barely any recoil on this weapon. How much do I have weak recoil? I, I think it has the long barrel. Yeah, the long barrel. Like every bowgun has two attachments, as you might know. The long barrel and the silencer. Although the, um, although if it's a big one, um, a big bowgun. And instead of having the the silencer, it has either long barrel or the shield. The shield isn't really that good; it's bad unless you have like skills like guard up and defense and guard increase, which are really bad skills to have in a gunner set. So it's usually not worth it. 
unless it's just one particular skill you want to avoid and this is just making my job so much easier having these two guys like like this in here so uh, usually you want to go with a silencer if you need a recoil but um, recoil is not good to stack um, some people don't really understand like for example there's a skill called auto reload which increases your recoil to maximum but makes it so that you don't have to, re to reload unless you want to change bullets and because of that like your caps are insignificant so you can just keep shooting although you have the recoil however recoil and reload is by is kind of like you have to consider it levels instead of basically time it's not okay I've, I have faster reloading speed so I'm gonna reload faster every time no matter what bullet it is no it's I have faster reload so I can use reload this bullet this particular bullet type of bullet I mean faster so for instance having weak recoil if I had the silencer I think it would be very weak and I tested it and the only thing it would help me would be to fire crag level 2 bullets there's a list of it if you, if you can find it online it's probably the same from the other monsters of freedom unite it's just so if you if you're not going for that particular type of bullet don't bother uh, getting any extra recoil reduction actually I, I actually made a mistake I shouldn't even have I actually had a different uh, way of putting this set and instead of having adrenaline plus two and recall reduction plus two I have just plus one of each and I have a attack up, attack up medium but uh, I just decided it wasn't it was too much of a bother and just decided to go with the set like this mainly the adrenaline plus two like you only want to use adrenaline plus two if you're confident that you can stay low health and not die so remember right now, it, I think I do have Reckless Abandon active right now. Let's see, free, free, yeah, I do have it. Now it's going to disappear, see. My stats just decreased because uh, I got healed. I did have it active then. It does help a gunner because you're basically two shots. Uh, this way you're not, it'll, it'll be a bit harder to finish you off. Okay, this one's weak now. I have no idea where the other went, I didn't even bother with painting them. No, why, can't, why can't I see a map? Now here he is. Do I really want to use the pellets on this one? It might have been better if I saved them for the Wraithless. Pellet bullets are good against Wraithless. But just that normalists are better for breaking specific parts, so that's why I can just aim at the Wraithless head or whatever I want to break and then break it. No? Okay, that guy left. I have no idea which one is weak, but I think it's the, actually the other one. If anything just slips you won't recover that much health, so Oh this is a good thing. If your cat is carrying a bomb and you hit him with a pellet bullet, he explodes. You so you can use that for your advantage. Because he the cats either have to wait until the bomb explodes after like five seconds or wait to be hit by him. So if if you have you see the cat next to him, you can hit the cat and explode the bomb. What? Ah, that is just unfair. Let me just take the herbal medicine. It restores just a bit of health, which makes it slightly better than antidotes. The number you can take is actually is the same, ten for each. However, they require some materials to make, like some kind of flour or whatnot. They can so they can be bought like the antidotes. So usually antidotes are easier to get, verbal medicine are just better because of that small heal. You never know where it can just save your life. 
I think I've ever been I've been in a situation where I have actually nothing to heal and I just took all the herbal meds and just restore my health full. Ouch. Okay, that hurt. But now I can maybe take advantage of my reckless abandon. And we have one down. Now he he won't disappear until the other one disappears as well. So I don't think I need to worry about carving him for now, even because he's just gonna give me mega potions. Nash, surprise to me the the all the pellet was worth enough. Yeah, how about it? I was pressing R1 to take out my weapon. Is there anyone left? Okay, now they're all gone. Let's just take a couple of mega potions, carve from one of these guys, and get ready for the last one. Should be very very fast. 15 minutes already to free down. Compared to the other quest where I ended up with, took me what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes, I mean. This one should take about 10, 15 more minutes just. Okay, that's everything here. Now let me combine some more noble bullets. I haven't been able to find any really good talent, like really, really good. I found some that are decent and whatever, but not some that are really game breaking so far. I've actually heard about this thing where the um, if you have auto guard with the gun lens it actually can block everything. Anyway it's like cheating so I don't even need it. I remember I heard about that like three or four months ago but then I just forgot forgot about it. Why am I going here? I wonder if this isn't gonna show up here. Yeah, he'll probably spawn this area. Now let's see... Okay, guess he has already spawned. Here he is. Okay, now I'm gonna first off start with all the water bullets, then I can rapid fire. This is just good when he when he does this thing, just so I can hit him. No, I just need to dodge those fireballs. Like in like the Rafin, where we have to worry about the fireballs. Rifles is more about worrying about him getting in your face. Because the rifles always shoot the fireballs forwards. You will also spend a lot of time airborne, which is a bit annoying because yeah, I can shoot him, but then again, he can actually shoot me. He can shoot me as well, and he has better aim than me. Now this is where I don't want to get hit by. Mm -hmm. The safest place you can be is right underneath a rifle. Because he can't hit you with anything, even if it's the tail. <laughs> even if it's the tail flip, he probably won't do it if you're right underneath him. That that only if he's like really flying, not like this right now where he's just gliding. No, I mean just gliding like like this where he's just a couple of feet above the ground. I'm gonna regret that. Yeah. Her. Dim, 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 Oh crap. Yeah. Roll, 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 roll. Okay. Well, that was close. The drone wouldn't even, even do anything right there because it was just so much damage. Ah, too, too slow. Wait, what? Okay, he moved to one area. It's really annoying when you have a gun lance and you can't see the map because of all the bullets. Okay, hard drive full. 
at least I managed to catch that up first for, uh, pass so I didn't lose anything like it could happen in the other times I did I did clear a lot of room but then a friend of mine gave me 300 gigabytes of onions and all of a sudden my hard drive is full again I really need an external hard drive what do I have 406 no, I think it's four or five hundred gigabytes on my D unit. Clearly not enough for all the games and memes and mangas and everything thing I, I have there. Mm. There's something I haven't I haven't told you here. I'm actually quite fun fond of memes and mangas. Stuff like I don't just mean stuff like Naruto and Bleach or all just mainstream. Small intrusion. No, I don't just mean just mainstream stuff like Naruto and Bleach. Like I watch pretty much everything. Uh, fairy tale and the others that are more shady like um, Demon Wonderland, Mirai Nikki. Oh god, that guys are units went crazy fucked up bitch. Other stuff like uh, School Days, Maho uh, Maho Sensei Nejima, actually saw the manga, not in him. Oh crap. I actually didn't do so much damage. But it always stuns you, which is really annoying. At least this way, if I'm hit by a fireball, I'm right next to the water. It's just a bit being fun of animes and mangas. Like sometimes you need to realize it's kind of like music. There's good music people don't know about. There are people who like some kind of music but don't like others. And for example, a, a manga I really, really liked was Akumetsu, about this guy who'd make justice and kill himself just to kill other people, and kill himself and kill himself and kill himself over and over again whenever he wants to kill someone. Of course, the story explains how he is able to do that, but it's really, really awesome. Also, Death Note. Everyone knows Death Note. Although, to be honest, everyone likes uh, L and stuff. I like Kira better. I really wish Kira had one. I guess we can't always just get all what we want. You can't always get what you want. You can't shoot him while he's going towards you. Are you gonna regret it? Okay, there go all the motorist bullets. It's usually really, really bad when he goes right on top of you like that. That means he's either gonna. Hit, hit, hit. That means he's either gonna do a backflip or just uh, use his claws, his talons, mighty talons on you. Hmm. I, I also see occasionally a visual novel. Visual novels are really awesome. And it's not visual novel like, like just, for example, Twilight, where it's just a book with images. Should you even call that a visual novel? Yeah, you do. My sister has one. Although I've read the, the entire Twilight Saga just from the books, but and not too much about that. Uh, but there are visual novels, kind of like computer games, where you, you basically just read, 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 and make a couple of choices which affect the story. Of those, the best example, Fate Stay Night. Oh my god, that visual novel is just so awesome. Of course, it has a couple of lemons on them. If you don't know what a lemon is, it's basically... It's basically just a sex scene, nothing more. Okay, I think that guy's weak. Isn't that his, his resting area? What are these guys doing? Akan? No. Agnactor? Agnactor is a big one, so what's the small one called? Hmm. Uroctor. There we go. Uroctors. He doesn't seem weak. 
I have no idea how how the hell I knew he was not gonna fire a fireball. That looked like a screen to me, but like there was just no way he was gonna launch a fireball like that. Right now he's weak, so it's really awesome to fight them when they're weak. Now, since there's no other part I can break, I'm gonna. Forgot he can fire. I need to aim to the head, which is the most damage, or gonna aim for the legs so I can get a stagger off of him. Oh wait, that's no. Okay, I'm mixing up the cats. Which ones are mine? That one's not mine. This one here. I don't think that black one's mine. Is it actually Milix helping? Helping? For the bullets. Crap. Or this thing. He also does this thing sometimes. Just right on top of him because the wind pressure is a bit annoying. Yay, cats actually did something. Okay, and we're almost done now. Now let's just capture this guy. Well, Spartacus seems mad. I have no idea why I, why I wanted to get bombed, but... Okay, you're not mine, are you? No, you're not mine. Can't even tell my own cards at cats apart. Train bullets, shock trap. Finally! Okay. And now he's leaving. Okay, it took me five. I think six, maybe whole minutes just to find this guy. I literally went up and down the mountain at least twice. Now, now I can't see what area he's going for. Okay, that one. Just to find this guy. I, I had to cut that part off. I can't just have five minutes of me running around aimlessly trying to find this guy. He was already ready to get drank, but because he rested so much I'm gonna have to fire some rounds on him. So I'm just gonna mess around a bit. At least try not get myself killed in the, in the process. Because by now he already restored enough health not to get drank. It's a really, really bad place for me. Okay, much better. No, I don't want to fire too many rounds. Okay, he's ready again. Okay, he's ready again, so let's just see where he goes and then catch him there. That way? I really should have been in the mess where if I take another five minutes just to find him now. <sighs> God, this mission was like it's so easy up until this part where I just have to chase around this ray fellows. Found them. Now let's just hope he doesn't. He does succumb to the trained bullets. And we're done. Okay, guys, this is all for this set. It. This is all for this episode. See you next time. Shannon here waving goodbye. Wait, quit? Nah. No, nah. Waving. Okay, waving. Yeah, waving goodbye. See ya.